morning, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're still on day one. I am using different modes, if you remember. In the last episode, I had this one that I was trying out. Yes, it was a good mower. And I liked it. It's started to get a bit fiddly. And I couldn't control it while I was doing everything else. Basically I couldn't multitask. So I've got a contractor here. He's currently cutting my uh, my grass. Not very well. Must be a apprentice. Um, I keep forgetting to do this. There you go. I have cut all of all of field eighteen. 21, 20, 19, so he's just on 12, and then I've got 11 to do. So all these bales here, I am literally selling. I'm doing them as big as I can. So, so that it's six and a half thousand liters. even gone around this little pond bit here. I've bailed this field right here. I haven't done anything with this field just yet. And I have done this field just here. So what I'm going to do is jump in here and come up here and try and do this field So I've changed the mowers purely on the fact that that other one was hard to use and that I felt like I needed a wider cut. So that's the reason why I sold the other ones. This should not take too long, but I'm not sure. Let's see if my work camera works. Okay, not too bad. So I've got 422,000 at the moment. I don't think I've got all this stuff that I need like in terms of tractors, um, implements, things like that. Yet. Yeah. 
I'm still going to need a lot more seed. Hence the reason why once this is harvested, I can get on with starting to plough them up, etc. I've also been contemplating buying the original farm. I'll show you. So let's go for this one. Okay, so we got red beet growing here. That's, that's cool. So, what is it? So technically, I still own this. Like, oh no, I have to buy it again. But to be able to buy the other land, I've had to sell all the vehicles, etc. So it's just left empty. So what I was thinking is maybe having two farms, but I don't know yet. And he's finished, okay. Yeah, so I was trying out these new mowers anyway, getting back to the mower thing. They come with the premium expansion. And they're very different, they got springs and very nice. So that's why I was trying them. Um, let me try forward a bit. No course set. Clockwise, start and centre, generate, there you go. So it's not going to take it long to do that, and I'm currently doing this job, so... So yeah, I changed the modes up. don't think I brought anything else. It all seems to be working alright at the moment. So I'm planning on selling these, these bales help out local community. I've also thought about putting it onto a multiplayer and then having the other farm owned by, I don't know, someone else maybe or whatever. And then like doing contract work saying if they have sheep or cows and any silage etc I supply them with the silage but it's just an idea at the moment there's so many different ways I can play this map at the moment And considering I'm just starting and working out what I want to do, I've got a lot of ideas running through my head. 
so I mean if even if you guys have ideas let me know Yeah, this field's nearly done already, so... What I'm going to be doing is all the standard grass in the fields I'll be taking out. Just so that I can put like alfalfa in the fields because I don't know why from... I can't remember which farming simulator it was. It's probably the one before this one. I had a German map that I really, really liked. I'm surprised it hasn't been ported over or anything. With Alpha Alpha and... I don't know, it looked really, really nice. I just like it when it's seeded in. Looks, looks cool. It's just more the the visual of it more than anything. But it looks nice. So that's why I'm probably going to plant it. And plus, it's different because it's not an actual giant's crop if that makes sense so that's that field done this field here to my right I had to go over it four times to collect the majority of the grass because for some reason the baler doesn't want to pick it up like the whip for it just didn't want to work if that makes sense it's leaving bits behind so it looks like this tractor is almost done Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around the edge of this field. Just the edge, because the rest of it looks alright. It's probably not the best thing to do. At least I can still see it. So yeah, my first crop that I'm probably going to put in is probably going to be wheat. Do a first first crop of wheat. Probably do a second one of maybe corn I still haven't worked out what I want to do I was going with the idea of like one crop across the lot then going to the next one um, there's a calendar 
so I've got wheat I can't plant just yet it gets planted in March um, corn gets planted in April soybeans gets planted in May cotton gets planted in April Alpha Alpha gets planted in April so there's a few months where I haven't got anything so this grass harvest at the moment is coming in pretty handy So I haven't really worked out what I want to do in terms of if I've got it on seasons because I've never played on seasons before how you would do like the off season bit I suppose I mean probably the field prep will be the best thing like ploughing, fertilising etc working out what I want to do I could, I could plant wheat in two months time that tractor's finished work as well can I pick it all up? yep, just So that's that field done as well. I'm just going to park that there. Go for a swim. So I want to have a look at the precision farming map. So we're about spot on for pH value. Nitrogen, we definitely need nitrogen. Yield wise, we've done all right. Considering it's grass as well, it's not too bad. I, there you go, I'll show you that one. So if we go to that one. So 936,780 or 281 tons. Because what we've harvested off this field. Seven hundred and eighty-four AI helper. This one's one hundred ninety-seven. Well, that's both fields, so that's actually okay. This field alone is three hundred ninety-two. So we're minus one percent on that. One hundred ninety. 
So not too bad. So the only field I've used someone to work on is this one and these two here. I've done the rest myself and that two dollars is where I accidentally hit the button. So, so if I clear the yield map for that we know where we're at for all values and we come back on so let's try and do a bit of bailing That is not going to help when I don't have this thing down to collect. Let me just jump into this other tractor here. Yeah, I know you're done. What I want to look at as well, do I have any, what vehicles do I have? I've got harvester. I haven't got a cotton harvester yet, so I can't do that one. Right, here we go. So. In total across all my fields I've done 54 bales. Which isn't bad. This is gonna this isn't gonna be a grass field, definitely this is definitely a crop field. I'm just gonna try and see if I can spin it around to get that little bit there. I'll get rid of that. Right, so course plate tractor, turn that off. Just trying to maximise my yield at the moment of everything I get from the field. I'll probably spend like an hour or two off recording, off screen, just collecting all the tiny bits. I suppose what I could be doing right now is working on the little fields that I've just done. And then start ploughing. I want to have a look at prices. So the max price is 705, 819. So corn is a good one to plant, I reckon. 
so I might do half and half. So this big field will probably end up being corn or something to start with. So this one is going to be corn. How many fields do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the big one will be corn. This, these little ones will probably be all the other different crops because. It's going to be. Big field of corn. Right, let's turn it back on. Trying to get rid of this bit. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. So, first harvest, so to keep it within like a decent crop rotation. I'm going to do the first one, that big field, corn, the rest wheat. And then next rotation after that, probably do the big field wheat. And then do like maybe peas. Something like that. Beans, soybeans. Because that's quite a popular crop that they do over in Alma in real life. Cotton as well. But I can't afford a cotton harvester. So this is why... I planning comes in because at the end of the day we have to purchase a very expensive bit of machinery You get awfully close to this water down here, which is a bit alarming. But it's still pumping them out. So what I'm going to do is, while I'm not recording and playing the game, I'm going to collect all the bales, finish collecting all the grass, etc. Tidy them up. And then work out a game plan to look at where I can get nitrogen, the costing of it. We are on the lowest as we can get for nitrogen, which is zero. And we really could do with getting that sorted for when we plant.
Um, I haven't got pigs going yet, but that would be another thing down the line that I need to get going because the manure alone from that will help me fertilise the fields. Try not to go into that water. It's I don't want to lose machinery, and as he says it, he does it. So now I need to put on diff locks. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Should have probably used the windrow on that to get the outside cleared. this tractor here clear that park him up there I feel like I'm going to have to reverse onto that bit. Get this tiny bit here, come around the back of this bale, and try and reverse. Hopefully, not into the water to collect this. Like I said, hopefully, not into the water. But that's one done. So I'm going to keep this tractor over here. How long have I been going for? 33 minutes. This tractor doesn't need mowers on it anymore. I've also noticed coming up here, it's going to be very tight for the combine, especially with this big header on, just here for the corn, because it doesn't fold.
I need to detach the PTA. There you go. Now, did I buy an auto stacking trader? I thought I did. Obviously not. That's round bales. I don't know why one has significantly more horsepower. But let's take a look. I think that will push it off the back. And I think that one does the same. So I'll go with this one. you guys while he's doing that to collect the bales I'm gonna just jump in this one and go around the edge of this field only because that water's deep even for this tractor it's very deep somewhere I just don't want to be putting that baler in there and getting it stuck. It also gives me a chance to tidy up the edges because this will take a long time going backwards and forwards if I don't. going to be a nice field when it's done, definitely. Now I need to move this tractor again. I'm good at putting obstacles in my way. I'm gonna just move it up here on the grass. I 
and then we're done. I have two fields full of bales. One absolutely humongous field that I need to do and pick up the bales. So I got this one done. There's only a few bales on it. This one I still need to do. This is going to take me a couple hours easily. And then, oh, he's already there. This one's done. So I've just got to collect them and sell them. This one's ready to be picked up. So we're getting there. I'm floating. Okay, let's turn that off. There you go. I worked out as well, you need to have the lights and the cables connected up, otherwise you're just dragging the trailer. What field do I need to go to? Field 11, we'll go there first. Hopefully he doesn't have the issue of running into the stuff like he did the last time. All my fields are windrowed for the time being. What horsepower did I have on that auto stacker? 130. And that's 200, so this is going to be the auto stacker tra uh, tractor. Now I just need to work out where I'm putting this. Although this is a good farm. It's very small and your machinery starts to stack up pretty quickly. It's a case of then where to put it all. Right, turn the engine off. And attach that and attach that. Press Q. Job done. I take it this is where you don't get the manure from as well. These are just fake bales. I tried picking them up earlier. So I was like, oh, I might be able to sell them. So I got that in there. I might actually put that trailer in there at some point. So I'm going to leave the episode there. I'm going to do a whole load of baling, I reckon, and get that done. I'm probably going to lease the um, I think it's the miscellaneous. Nope. Bell technology, wherever that's gone. Oh, wasn't there a bale pusher or something? That you can knock him out of the way with? I can't remember. I was hoping that would. Uh, 
Okay. So that might have been a mod that I had before. So that's going to be a pain. Oh no, there it is. Bumper bar. Okay, it's not an actual bale pusher, so I might be crashed into some bales. So yeah, and it looks like we are almost home. So, I'm going to quickly if I can, work out how there you go oh, this, this is a nice bit of kit I guess I'm racing it too quickly. Right, I'm going to quickly race around, pick up all these, or at least fill this. And go from there. Still 50%. I mean, it doesn't look like it will handle much more. So I've got a hundred and four dollar wage payment to come out. That's that would have been for doing that field, this field and probably collecting the new auto loader. Okay, so just put them there. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to save it because last time I didn't save it so I did have one of those before but I didn't save it right I am going to leave this episode there so thank you for watching please subscribe this is going to be one big commitment trying to do this and keep it on seasons and everything else and stick to the plan I'm really enjoying this map at the moment it's really really nice hopefully we get to explore some other areas i don't want to be just stuck in the one section like i was in the other map so we've got this here i might get this one down here i don't know yet if i just chuck it in flight mode that is very noisy i want to go this way yes yeah, so we've got this farm here it's already got cows in it. I might purchase this one down the line. I don't know. But we'll go from there, see what happens. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.